water braiding uh, today we're gonna be doing something really exciting and we thought as usual we'll share it with you um, it's all about the season we're in which is getting to the Thanksgiving season or Christmas season or um, that period when we all want to look good and look nice and look amazing so what we're trying to share today with you is um, a hair range that we've had in stock for some time and obviously we sell them but we want to sell them off because we are growing gradually and we are trying to go into various ranges of hair care as you know us we are into hair care and we will advise or educate and inform you about everything hair and how to care for your hair which will help to create a beautiful image for you so my name is Joy Fido and welcome on board so what we're doing is um, a basically a uh, photo shoot about various types of um, wig range. And this particular wig range is all synthetic hair. Um, now we're growing slowly into the virgin <coughs> hair and natural hair care, um, or natural hair range. Virgin hair, all kinds of virgin hair you've heard about, Brazilian hair, Cambodian hair, um, Russian hair so it's gonna be various types but we still have this talk of synthetic hair and so we want to show you what they look like so we are actually selling them off on sale so that if you felt like wearing something about you know something that's exciting simple sharp and gives you the result you want immediately then this is something you should be looking at and what is it about synthetic hair Synthetic hair is so easy to manage. Um, all you need is a brush, brush it up, done, depending on the texture you have. So sometimes you might have curly ones, again I'll be talking you through all of that. And then you have the straight ones, so the short ones, the long one. So this range we are working with today is mostly the short hairs and we have here our gorgeous, gorgeous model which you've seen so many times on our channel. So our beautiful FA is going to be the model for us to show you how amazing these hairs are. So what we'll be doing is just trying the different designs on her and it gives you a pictorial image of what it will look like when you wear it. And then once that's done, then we're going to put all the details in the description box. You can click there, we'll put a PayPal link on it. You can click on it and then order the wigs. We just want to sell them off at absolutely ridiculous prices. Okay, so this is one thing that comes with all these wigs. You see that? the elastic band this is where for people who worry about wig falling off their head it doesn't because all the newer brands of wigs now have this elastic band that you clip onto each other put it in and it holds the hair firmly in place So it's all about you knowing what to do when you start wearing wigs. Um, you can now see I'm also wearing wig and most of my videos are wear wigs and people say go, how do you, what do you do before you can wear a wig? And I know there are lots <coughs> of people out there who still don't know what to do when to wear a wig. So first you need a very, very nice base of cornrows, which we have here. And it may, it's not a brand new cornrow, we've had it for some time because she also loves wearing her wigs as well. So your base of cornrow all nicely done. Now you can see that her hair is extremely healthy, baby hair as far as you can go. Lots of people make this mistake of um, when they wear cornrow, they try to pull their hair too much and then they start losing hairline just because they wear a wig. That shouldn't happen if you know what you're doing. Then you have the wig cap. And so you put the wig cap on. Now what does it do? It helps to kind of protect your hair as well. Now I know if it's very, very hairy, so she has her assortment on. She has hairs all over the place from time to time. She trims them off, but they still grow back. So um, you just know that that is there, depending on what your hair is like so wig cap is on now you want to start trying on your wigs so this particular one is called the holly and so i put it on
Okay. Let me know if it's um, sitting well. Okay. Wig is on. And then, now this is another area where people struggle. They wear a wig and they think you just put a wig on and that's it. No. You can work with a brush very easily. So you see what a brush does. It just lets the hair sit firmly in place. Now I'm not removing the tag so you know the different ones that we're dealing with. So. So you feel free, take your time, push the hair where you want it to be, and that's a synthetic wig. It doesn't require you to take the tongue, the iron, the um, curling tongue, and all kinds of things, the rollers, just the way it's done, that's the way you're going to get it. And for the kind of prizes we're going to put on these wigs, it's what the fun, try it on, have a change of look, look different, look exciting, and that's it. When it's gone, it's gone. So this one is called the spice. You can see the beautiful ringlets coming out of this. It's extremely um, short, so if you're into <coughs> short hair, short coily hair. So you see the back, like what you could call the jerry curls. Short and simple to the point. And you can drop it off whichever way you like. Again, when you have a, um, the thing is with wig is you can turn them around whichever way suits you. So I'll just play around with this a little bit and it's up to you what you want to do with it. <laughs> 